All right, what's good, folks? It's the AM Icebreaker for Monday, April 16th. I want to wish a happy belated birthday to my sister Amanda. Her birthday was April 12th, big sister. And uh, I hope for the rest of you guys, I want to wish happy start of the week, and I hope you had a good weekend. Um, first thing I want to say is there's still time to register for my Everyday Breathwork webinar. Uh, leave me a message here, leave me a comment, or DM me, and I will add you to the group and let you know when that's going to happen. And I uh, hope you guys had a good weekend. Uh, I had an awesome weekend, actually. I was out in Boise Friday night, well, very late Friday night, not, not enough to count, and Saturday meeting up with uh, Coach Zarin, and we, we sort of finalized the curriculum for the Viking Ninja Screamo workshop that's coming up June 16th. Uh, if anybody's interested, the link to that is also going to be in the description, so go ahead and sign up. We've got spaces left, and uh, one of the questions I get about that is that is gear. You will be getting equipment at the workshop, so don't worry about that. So you don't need to like invest in sticks or any of that stuff. We'll we'll provide all that for you. And um, <clears throat> and and actually, what you know, I I got to give a big shout out to that guy because um, he he really brought uh, a lot a lot of good stuff to the to the development of the curriculum. In fact, I you know I I credit him for actually coming up with the actual flow of the workshop. Well, you know how we're going to schedule the drills and how everything kind of goes together and. You know, I mean, he's got a lot of experience training a bunch of different groups, and that's one of the things I was really excited to work with him on, is because, I, you know, I know that he knows how to program very well, you know, regardless of whether or not he has uh, expertise in a specific subject. You know, I mean, he, he's one of those guys that, you know, I could, you, you can show things to, you know, and he'll pick it up and kind of say, okay, well, here's how you should teach this. You know, here's how you should present this to, especially to a general population audience. Uh, very strong in that. Like I said, he put together a great workshop, and really really excited about that so uh so so props to coach Zarin, <clears throat> and uh, i think you guys are really gonna like like uh what, what we've got for you um so and it's interesting so and working with him and in showing him <clears throat> uh, the drills actually kind of kind of thought uh, kind of kind of sort of prompted today's conversation and um you know when, when i when i teach people filipino martial arts there's there's this uh, reaction i see all the time when we go through certain drills you know like you know they just their eyes kind of get really wet. Like, wow, I really love this. Like, I feel it. Like, you know, my brain feels like it's awake now, and, and like this movement feels really good. And like I said, I see this from almost everybody I've shown Filipino martial arts to, and and it's interesting because I, I was talking to a, a potential uh, um, movement nutrition client Sunday night, and um, <clears throat> and one of her big concerns was that it was well, well, how do I know that this is right for me? How do I know this is going to work for me? And this kind of reminds me of a, uh, of a, of a, of a quote that Dr. Andy Galpin, um, you know, if you guys are Rogan fans or, or Powercats or whatever, I mean, he's been around the fitness, like kind of the more the, the less mainstream fitness sphere, like uh, for a while now, a really brilliant guy. And uh, he's one of those guys that I hope goes big because his research and, and approach is amazing. But um, he has a great saying that is, uh, and, and he says that, you know, physiology is not as sacred as we think it is. And the context he's presenting that is, is what he means is that, <clears throat> Is that there's 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 this idea I think that everybody needs completely custom stuff all the time, or to take a step uh, a step even further back, you know, simplify it even more. It, I think people hold on to this idea that gets kind of passed around, especially like what what I call the the pop fringe fitness circle, and I don't mean that in a, in a derogatory way. That's just like a delineation I use. Um, but this idea that you know, nutrition is completely, or training, or, you know, physiology is completely individual to everybody, and that everybody needs completely custom uh, solution, and that's, that's just not true, um, you know, this is something that I, I think, you know, Rogan says, you know, a lot, you know, he references this study that, uh, that Rob Wolf, not really a study, but just like a little kind of off-the-cuff experience that Rob Wolf and his wife Nikki did, where, you know, I, I think, I think the study was, you know, they both ate some hummus, and then did, took a blood glucose check, and, and they were both, com and then, or they did rice, and they did, and they were both completely different, and I think I think the problem is people commute stuff like that to to saying to, to being that everything affects everybody completely differently all the time, and that's not true. Like, to, I I don't think that's true. And to be a little bro sciency, um, you know, let's look at that from a practical standpoint. If that were true, things you know there would be no nutrition guidelines or standards. Things like like precision nutrition as a program just wouldn't work. I mean, you know, how 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 do you write a you know how, how do you write a, a a general program that you know works for everybody when everything has to be completely different all the time. And to be and, and to be fair, you know, I'm precision nutrition certified and they do teach you strategies to customize and individualize, but it starts from a general foundation. That's the same with exercise, right? I mean, if 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 everybody responded to 
every kind of training completely differently all the time, you know, there, there, there'd be no way we could train people. I mean, it may be great for, for us personal trainers, right? Because we could just, we could pick our niche and like get really good at that and then find our audience and just get rich because like, you know, we, we would have found the, the solution that works for those people all the time and we would be the guy, right? But... You know, ultimately, that's 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 not the. I don't think that's the case. I think it's. I think it's. It makes more sense to say that a lot of things work for most people a good chunk of the time, right? And I, I think that that we like to think that we we get to that point where we need those those very very individual tweaks tweaks uh, much sooner than we should. You know, it's like it's like Dave Tate. You know, Dave Tate calls um calls it the Ace Card. You know, genetics gear. I, I call it the Silver Bullet, for example. You know, my you know, my question is. My my policy is that I, th- I think we're loading the silver bullet and you know loading and, f- and firing that silver bullet way too soon. You know, I mean, I think a lot of people like jump to that right away. You know, they look for that silver bullet that like, well, what's you know, I know I, I need the exact thing that I know is going to work for my you know my specific genetics and blood type. And, and it's like, well, do you though? Or are you that far along in your training? And 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 I think a lot of people do that. And and I think I think it's exacerbated by. Um, I think it's exacerbated by, by you know, GPs and RNs, and, and again, I have a lot of friends who are GPs and RNs, no offense, this is not a, a slight on them, I understand, who, you know, who are still putting out, say, 20-year-old training information or 20-year-old nutrition information, and and so, so people think, oh, right, so that one study that was done on a very small population 20 years ago, I, I must be part of that. It's like, well, maybe not. So I, I guess ultimately what I'm saying is that <clears throat> You know, it, it's okay to start from a very, very, like, you know, you don't have to get super granular right away. You can start broad. You can start broad and whittle down. Um, but make sure you're talking to the right people and make sure that, you know, when you get down to, you know, make sure that you're at that point that you need that that level of specificity and granularity. And one of the things I had in my GDC talk was... Um, was uh, one of the things I, I mentioned to people is like is if you want to you know get onto a movement program like this make sure that you get you you know you consult with a, a you know, some sort of medical pro but don't go to your GP you know go to go to a sports uh, you know a, a sports practitioner go to like a sports therapist go to go to an osteo go to a movement specialist you know and, and the same thing I tell you about nutrition it's like don't don't take your GP unless your GP can produce recent nutrition credentials don't don't take nutritional advice from them. You know, go to an RD. If, if you train, go to a sports nutritionist. Heck, go to somebody who's PN certified. Hit me up. Um, but, yeah, I, I guess that's what I'm saying. Like, like you know, do your homework. Uh, you know, understand where we are. Trust the process. And uh, sign up for my breathworks webinar. That's what I got. Cheers.